What's happening guys? First Quick Tip Tuesday of 2022 here. Super excited to get this series going again and today we're talking about something that I, I honestly I probably do a little more often than I like to admit and that is get all set up to record here and I'll leave a little something on my desk like this. So I'm going to show you how to quickly use a tool to make this disappear like that. And now it's gone and we don't have to worry about it. It's a quick, easy tool to use here in Resolve. But when I have a static setup like this and I accidentally leave something sitting right there, you can use this tool to get rid of it really quick and easy. With that said, let's jump into our favorite program, DaVinci Resolve. All right, guys, in Resolve here, today we're looking at the patch replacement tool. So this is going to allow us to take my little remote control on the desk here that I forgot to move and get rid of that. It's gonna just get rid of it so that we don't see it there on the table anymore. Couple things to keep in mind. One is that this tool is only available in the studio version. So if you don't have the studio version, you're gonna have it in Resolve, but I think it comes up with a watermark or something like that. So you can try it out, but you're gonna get the watermark or it's gonna tell you you need to upgrade to studio. And if you do a lot of editing, you guys should really upgrade to studio if you can afford to do it. Because for $299, you can't, you can't go wrong. I mean, you get better performance with Studio. You get all the effects and everything else. So if you don't have it and you, you got the money to upgrade, I would totally say do it. Anyway, jumping in Resolve. I'm putting my headphones so I can hear what's going on. We want to select our clip. I am in the Edit tab, and that's where we're going to do this basic, uh, basic effect right here. So Edit tab, select your clip, and now we need to go ahead and open up the effects library. So come on up to the top here. Open your effects library. I'm actually going to go close my media pool, get that out of the way. And we want to make sure that we're on filters right here under open effects. Then you want to scroll down till you get to revival, resolve FX revival. And right here, we've got the patch replacer. All you have to do is click on it, hold and drag and drop it onto your clip. Now, if you look up here, you see it did a little something wonky here on our clip. It's replacing something and we can't see where it is and how it's working. So how do we see the tool to be able to adjust it? Well, you want to come over to this guy right here. We're going to click on the drop down and you want to come down to open effects overlay. So this is going to bring up our replacement tool. So the first one here on the right is the item we want to replace. So I want that to go over top of my remote control. So I'm going to shrink it down and you can do that just by grabbing the little sides here. You can adjust it however you want. I'm going to put it over top of my remote control. Now, this other box on the, the left here, or now on the top, is going to be where do we want to use as a sample to replace, you know, everything in this circle. So I'm just going to bring it down, eh, put it like there, and I can make this guy a little smaller here, kind of like that. All right, that's looking pretty good. So what if I want to see what it looks like without this? Well, you can come back here and just click on the FX, and that's going to take it out. Now, it does look a little weird there. I'm going to turn it back on. Let me try dragging this over here, see if that makes a difference. All right, not too bad. Maybe I got to adjust the size of it a little bit. You just got to work with it a little bit and make it work for your situation. Now, for me, I use this when uh, I have a static background a lot. I leave something on my table or, you know, something's in the way there and I'm not moving around and covering it up or anything. So it's easy to use this tool. It's just going to be static. There we go. I think that's, that's probably good enough. Uh, maybe I can adjust it a little. You see a little line there, but... It's not going to be moving around. I know, you know, I'm not really moving my arms over here. So this should be good to go. That said, I use it as just dump it on here like this, but you can actually use tracking with it. If you jump into Fusion, throw a tracker on there and you can have this tool track with your object. Um, if you come over to your inspector over here and come to effects right here, you've got a bunch of different options in here. So you can change the shape of it or use an alpha channel. You've got different uh, blending modes and fill-in modes on how you can allow the tool to, you know, replace whatever's in your uh, circles there. You've got different details here. You can change the edges, the border type, a lot of different things you can do in here. But this is just basics, just dumping it on there for a static shot like I have here to just get rid of that remote control. So you can use it that way. But if you do need more advanced tools or you have, you know, things that are moving in the background... You can jump into Fusion, add a tracker, and, and do some more cool stuff with this effect. So if you're interested in that, comment down below. Maybe we can get a little more involved with this tool because it is pretty cool. But for now, this is just the basics of getting rid of something that's in my static shot here that I don't want to be there. All right, guys, that said, that wraps up this video here for the first Quick Tip Tuesday of 2022. Super excited to get this guy done for you. Great little tool here. I mean, I use it all the time. I can't tell you how many times I've left these remotes or something on my desk here. This works great. A lot of good stuff in store for you guys here in 2022. I got lots of good video ideas. 
Gonna have a video coming out soon talking about some goals and where I want to go with this channel and things I want to accomplish this year, as well as taking a look at last year's goals. You know, did we accomplish the things I set out to do? If you guys are interested in that, let me know because I know a lot of you guys are on this same YouTube journey that I am. And you know, it's a learning process. We can all learn together and grow our channels together and just work together as a community, right? Because that's part of what YouTube's all about. And as always, I'd love to hear from you guys. Any ideas you have, things you want to see, things you want to learn about here in DaVinci Resolve or camera stuff, YouTube stuff, anything that you guys want to learn about, I'm more than happy to share, you know, my experience with all this stuff with you guys. All right, guys, if you learned a little something, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace. I don't know. That wasn't as good as the first one. I'm really bummed. That first one was good. It was good. This one, not as good. I'm really kind of bummed about that. Sometimes we gotta do multiple takes here, man. Ah, oh. sometimes it's killer, killer. You think you get it right the first time, then you're like, man, there's so much more I can add. Ooh, oh well. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? That's why we make more videos, right? Make more videos. But sometimes it's just not enough time in the day. Seems like not enough time in the day. All right, let's go uh, re-edit this guy up. All right.